Hey guys, my name is Valeria Kushner and I'm from Dabble Lab at DabbleLab.com. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Today I want to talk to you about prototyping your first mobile app idea. Let's get started. So when you have an idea and you're trying to communicate it to the developer, it is very helpful to have something tangible to show them, uh, maybe some drawings or some mock-ups of this idea, uh, as sometimes it is really tough to communicate the solution that you're trying to build without actually having something tangible and holding it in our hands. There are many ways to prototype. You can use pen and pencil, you can use Adobe products, uh, you can use Sketch, um, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, those kind of things. There's also other software such as Proto.io uh, and many, many, many others. Uh, you, you know, the most simpler one, of course, is to prototype with pen and pencil. And uh, a lot of us try to do that, but then in the end we realize that maybe we're not that good of drawers as we thought we are. Maybe we get cut up in the shape of our boxes or the circles. Uh, or our lines are not straight, and uh, that is totally okay. We've all been there, we all still are. Maybe my handwriting is not the best. Um, but basically, what Balsamic allows us to do is we don't have to worry about any of those problems. Uh, we don't need to worry about uh, knowing Adobe products, which are kind of more complicated, more professional grade. And we're, allow we're able to use uh, this tool and really come up with a prototype very quickly, very rapidly, without worrying about the colors, without worrying about the lines and anything like that. Uh, Balsamic Mockups is available at balsamic.com with a Q, and you're seeing this right now, uh, and it is available for both Windows and Mac, and is also available as a web app. And uh, if you don't have a license like I do, you can actually download a free trial, and I believe it's three or four weeks, and you don't have to pay for it, and there is no restrictions. So let's take a look at uh, what Balsamic Mockups actually looks like after you download and install it, and we will prototype a very well-known app called Instagram. So once you download, download and install Balsamic Mockups and uh, we open it, we see this blank canvas that, we, that we're greeted with and uh, it looks just like a you know square ruled notebook uh, that any college student or high school student has used before. And uh, at the top we're seeing over here different categories for assets that are provided with it and uh, these are similar to clip art in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or any other software you've used before. And what it allows us to do is allows us to drag these uh, different elements onto this canvas and step-by-step uh, -step build the prototype that we're talking about. Uh, this is very important, as uh, like I mentioned, when we prototype on paper, a lot of times we get caught up in whether our shape is perfect and whether the colors are correct and whether the line is straight. Uh, Balsamic Markup solves that issue for us by having pre-designed elements uh, that we can add it, make them bigger, make them smaller, change the colors. And at the same time, it takes the need from us to look at it and be like, oh, is this perfect? Because the reality is it will not be perfect. Your first mobile prototype uh, and the first prototype of your idea in general is meant to give you a solid idea uh, of what the prototype will look like, what is the functionality that you want to have it in, you have in it, uh, and uh, you know how will you communicate it with your developer, uh, and how will you explain this idea to other people that might not have the same line of thinking as you do. Uh, so with balsamic mockups, we can do this very quickly, very rapidly. We, we can uh, reiterate very fast. And uh, in the end, it just saves us time and uh, those uh, aesthetic pieces that are occupying our minds, such as color, uh, that we don't have to worry about. Uh, so uh, right now, we're, gonna, we're going to prototype Instagram. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, I deleted those items, is we will grab the phone uh, and we'll drag it here on the board. Um, now what I like to do is uh, I like to resize the actual device uh, to the size of the device that we are going to prototype for, uh, which I use uh, iPhone 6 or 6S sizing, uh, and uh, we do it at 2x for Retina display, which would be 750 by 1334. And now we have this uh, nice and large iPhone screen in front of us. Uh, and uh, what I like about doing it this way is that it gives me a real size um, and real ratio so that once I start actually adjusting the uh, photos or the, you know, the image boxes, uh, I can have a very good representation of, that, of what it will look like on the actual device. So right now, uh, Instagram just came out with a new design uh, with the uh, very colorful icon and uh, black and white design um, of the actual interface. And uh, at the bottom, they have a menu bar with four buttons uh, and uh, oops and uh, I will resize that and uh, all we do is just grab it at the top uh, and we uh, drag it down and uh, we will not really worry about those buttons right now uh, and uh, we'll just make it bigger 
to fit the size that we need. Uh, and uh, all the controls are very similar to what uh, Photoshop or uh, any other uh, kind of visual software does to where if you click shift, it's gonna keep the same dimensions um, with, or the same ratio of the box. And then, uh, so at the top over here, we need a similar box but without buttons. Uh, so maybe we'll look at containers and see what we have here. Or we'll look at layout uh, and we'll basically just look for a uh, kind of a square or rectangular. Here, here it is. Uh, so here it's perfect and uh, I will just drag it up here and I will adjust it for our size uh, preference. And this is basically where it says Instagram up here. Uh, we have at the bottoms down, down here for our likes, for our profile. And uh, this is the first, you know, this is the home screen that you see when you log in. Uh, then the next thing is uh, we will add an image in here. Uh, Instagram uses square images, so we will add a square image uh, in here. And we will just try to add it in here. Boom, right there. And it's not perfectly square. Uh, as we can see, width is 510, height is 524. But it's okay. This is a very rough first version prototype. Uh, and uh, we will do that. Um, I will drag this down a little bit as uh, an Instagram right here. We have usually a user icon and their name. Uh, so we will use something like a circle. Uh, so we'll actually just type in here. There is a very handy uh, search option that you can type different uh, keywords into. Uh, for example, you can type keyboard and we'll bring up elements of the keyboard. So you can type in circle or you know shape. And uh, Balsamic Mockups with, comes with actually a lot of uh, font awesome icons that are included with it. And uh, if, you're, if there's anything you're missing, there is also a lot of available resources on the web that you can download additionally for Balsamic Mockups. So there is the shape that we're going to use, which is a circle. And I just click on it and it appears over here and I drag it into our prototype. Now I'll line it here. I'm not going to really focus on the lines. Uh, then we will do text. Uh, so we'll do just grab text in here and uh, we don't need that's a little bit too much text We'll just double click on it and we'll erase this and we'll type the, the name of the person that will be let's say dabble app Click outside of the box and now we have a nice looking uh, Name of the of the person that posted this image and maybe we need to make this a little bit larger But it's it's like I said It's not very important at this stage as we're really trying to get a very rough version of a our app on paper to show others. So uh, over here on the right, you have different um, controls for your elements. So we'll make the text a little bit bigger. Let's make it 16. Uh, and then there it is. And then we're done here. And also we know that uh, on Instagram under the image, it also has the uh, username and the caption that is provided to, uh, for the photo. So for that, we will take the circle and we will um, uh, option click it and drag down here. If you're on Mac, um, and uh, we will add a username again and we'll and just use this text here and we'll copy and uh, option click and drag it and then we will also add uh, just some text to here to represent the caption uh, so maybe we'll type caption or we'll, we'll write text uh, and block of text is what I will use which is a good representation of what that uh, caption should look like and um, oops so I will drag it in here, I will position, then I'll adjust it using a shift click. I'll drag it to the space I need to. So there it is. Uh, here's the home screen of the uh, Instagram. Maybe we can adjust these buttons to or, and add actual logo, um, icons to it. So for example, if I delete all these, uh, I accidentally deleted the actual bar. So I'll just take this, I'll repeat it, put it down here, and let's add some icons. Maybe we'll search for a heart icon and there's the heart outlined. We'll click enter, we drag it in here. And then uh, if we look on the right side, we can actually adjust the icon size. So I'll just make it uh, medium for the bottom, actually maybe large. So there's large. Uh, then maybe we have uh, our app for our Instagram has a messaging functionality. So I'll add, or I'll type message, nothing coming up, or maybe it's chat. And sometimes you have to actually look uh, through different versions of what you would call this element. So let's take this comment button and we'll put it here. And then maybe we, um, we want to be able to share right from the bottom menu. Um, we'll click it on here as well. And then maybe we'll have a profile. Um, yeah, maybe a user icon. So I'll just add it over here. 
And, and that is pretty much it. So what we're looking at here is a very rough, uh, very raw version of uh, what your mobile app should look like. Uh, you can take this uh, and make it more detailed. You can spend more time, uh, but you don't have to. The whole point of this is to prototype several screens, uh, to prototype all the functionality that you want it to have and see, well, does it really make sense? How will the user interact with it? And it's the first, first step uh, in prototyping your first mobile app idea. Uh, so once again, thanks so much, guys. This is Valera from Dabble Lab, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.